All right, day after race day. A little cleaning to do. This dirty rig. Uh -uh. Lima. Lima, inside. Go ahead, good girl. What are you doing? Laundry. Oh, fun, we both get to do chores. I have to wash my monkey shoes from the race yesterday. Can you throw my gear in there as well? Thank you, love you, you're the best wife in the world. Yeah. She's already got it. She has a top tube that I can feel the ridge of it, so it's pops through, yeah. It's not her front tube, it's one that's the one right next to the front tube, I think. It's like way, it's super clean and nice. I got it. For her. Yeah, I was talking about it. I was talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you chucked it. Where did you take it? You take it. shovel looks like everything's still underwater here nice little tabletop all right so here's a little rundown of what's going on got lots of water on the track pretty much every straightaway is underwater so kind of digging these little ditches that go into a big pond this is kind of dug out for this jump so we're just digging trenches basically to the far end of the property to try and get this water to drain off the track. And that's the ultimate goal is have a dry track in the spring. So that's it. Here we go. Moment of truth. Now we wait. <laughs> All right, that'll wrap it up for out here. Still got quite a bit of draining to do, but put a good dent in it. I'll load it up. 
Even Cat made his bike. Went out for a day of riding. Are you rolling? Yes. Allie and I just got into a discussion. Discussion. Asking, because uh, I saw a goose flying up in the sky, and I said that goose is just goosing around. And Allie said, "What?" So now I'm trying to explain that, like, people say that, like, I'm nobody said, no, says I goosing. swear, people say, goosing, so now goose. it sounds wrong, leave a yeah, comment down below wrong. and tell me, let me know if you've ever heard somebody phrasing it as goosing around, a Canadian, Canadian geese, geesing around, you know what I mean? I think so. You should ride it down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? Oh my gosh. It's not the full out one. Dude, you got one though. The Elka. That thing's nasty. Oh yeah. Wow. Hopefully. Oh, it'll rip for sure. But then if you come around to this side, we're looking factory on the carb now for adjustments. Yeah, air fuel, and then I changed the idle to match it. Looks so good. All right, let's get her loaded. Let's see if I can do this one. This is where it gets fun because the truck's a little tall. Did it already. <laughs> I've been used to loading her up by myself. Yeah, it's so much easier with two people though. Oh yeah. The fresh graphics kit. Looks First time so I've ever good. done a full-on graphics kit. Are you stoked on it? Oh yeah. I think it looks good. Up on the steed. Same food, different vlog. This is our little setup here. So, got bikes, must have, I mean. We got one taco, two tacos, little canopy for our setup. Nice little pile of firewood and a little ring. This is a clutch little spot, what do you think? You like it? Yeah, that's good. Can you get that chair out? Yep. How is it going? It's going good. Come on over. Check it out. <laughs> oh, you came just in time for the flippage. Smells good. Looks good too. As oh, good as you drink. Little Laris. Little Laris, a lot of Laris. What's the difference? A little garlic salt on the veggies. That's it. I just got back from riding out at Bridgeton. Kind of crazy. I haven't been out there in like long time. Long, long time. So I didn't really get a bunch of big bike video. Uh, I was going to wear the GoPro, but I was like, eh, I haven't ridden this track in a long time. And I don't know, I just didn't really feel like wearing the GoPro. So next time we'll definitely get more footage of the big bike track. We got some like pitter stuff on the little kids track and stuff. Me and Kedrick just messing around, but definitely next time I'll try and get Allie out on the big track and we can try and do a little bit more filming out there. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments if I should do GoPro stuff or if you like, kind of like how in the last video, Allie just kind of shot with the iPhone 
from a distance. Let me know if you like that or GoPro better. Dude. We gotta get a trash can pronto. Whatever's getting into here is really getting into here. Jeez. All right, so here's where we're at today. Just got this thing cleaned up. Pitter had a rough day yesterday. Man, I was just crashing into everything. Luckily that didn't break all the way through. Just a scuff there, hit a tree. Messing around and got into some hard enduro and just clocked a tree, I guess. So that was fun. And then here, I hit a fence post and completely just uh, torpedoed myself into this like barricade thing and snapped this plastic in half. So I'm probably gonna try and plastic weld that as best I can. It's gonna be like a soldering iron plastic weld, so it's not gonna be professional at all, but it's gonna be as professional as the shed can allow. <laughs> Here's the finished product. Definitely doesn't look pretty, but it's gonna hold. It feels strong, it's not gonna break, so good enough for me. Man, this thing really took a beating. I took this little cover off, because I remember this wire getting snagged by a rock and pulling out. They ripped the electrical connector right off. So now I get to do a little bit of splice and dice and How is it? Good. Guess where we are. <laughs> Allie got her popsicle. Apparently there's an eclipse going on right now. Uh, you better Zamboni that thing. Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, it's definitely getting darker. Like we can tell and it's kind of messing with our eyes. You can't tell on the camera cause it's just the sun, but we got like 10 minutes until totality, totality eclipse. Oh, she lost her hat. Oh. I'm gonna run for us, run. Over the bridge. Oh no, no, I see it, I see it. There it is. Keep that on your noggy. Hang on. There we go. That's better. Anyway. All right, Allie thinks all the birds are just gonna freak out. Look how weird that light is. She thinks <laughs> she thinks the birds are just gonna freak out and just want to go to bed. Can you see it with the welding mask though? You just can't. Yeah, see it just not through the camera. Like you can barely see it. So we found out if you Whoa. look through a welding mask and it's wave weird. your hand in front of it, you can see the eclipse. Let's go. Time to put on some fresh numbers. All right, here's the final product. I think it turned out pretty sick. 755, new number. <laughs> oh, she's under. She didn't cry.
Really? 